Let's add this. And this is Patrick Burns. And we're coming to you from the RMS Queen Mary. And, uh, you know, that leads me into another thing. Of course, we, uh, we did the darkness event this past summer at Waverly Hills. Mm -hmm. And uh, during our, our, our group panel discussion, we were there. And uh, you and I actually, um, we had a, what we thought, what we perceived at the very beginning was a difference of opinion on, on something. Um, and I, I, I disagreed with you. And everybody was like, oh, my God, Patrick and John are like, they're going at it. They're going like, <laughs> to they're, they're be having a, a steel cage match at the next Darkness event. And uh, it, was, um, it was so funny was because, you know, everybody was like, Patrick and John are, 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 are like at it. So, it. We talked like five minutes later, and there was just a misunderstanding yeah. of what, what it was. What was the approach? I, I'm trying to remember. The approach was, was people being there it, about the Right. Correct me. I'm trying to it, it, it was you. Somebody had asked, do, "Does the property owner need to be aware of what is going on on a paranormal investigation if you are like doing a cleansing or something?" Mm -hmm. And uh, you had said, "Yes, absolutely." And I said, mm, "You know, I think maybe if you have a spirit that is there that is asking for help to cross over, you." Th this was the perspective that I was right. trying to come across. Um, was that? If you have a spirit there that is asking for help crossing over, I don't care who owns this piece of property, you know, in this in this time space, in this time frame, right. help them cross over. Explain. I, I agree. You should explain to the property owner what you're doing. But if you've got somebody that's see, trapped there, now see how we had that miscommunication. Sure. I agree with you. That's totally. I agree 150 percent with you on that. I I, I didn't fully understand what your perspective was. I, I don't even think maybe I under, totally understood what the question was that was being posed. Okay. So we came at it from two different, and there was a little bit of a budding, budding of heads there for yeah. just a moment. We but were kind of lucky because we had rosemary between exactly. us. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have she been sat there and went, uh-oh, boys. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I, yeah, and we found out later on we were just, it was, it was a misunderstanding. Yeah. We were completely in, in agreement with one another, and everybody's, and of course, the blogs are going around. Oh my God, yeah. Patrick and John Zaffis are, yeah. are like, Zaffis and Burns. Yeah, <laughs> they hate each other. They hate each other. And I don't. I, I, I respect the hell out of you. Here again, too. Now, see, because we never actually talk, talked about it, because right. we let it be. Yeah. And, but 150%, I mean, if you're doing an investigation there, and the owners or whatever you want to call it aren't at there at that point in time and that spirit can be released absolutely 100 yeah, percent that's what that was my point absolutely i don't agree a, i've done it many times myself yes. yeah so I'm sorry your house is unhaunted now <laughs> whether you like it or not but yeah but the other part of it was where my misunderstanding came as i was saying well all right why was patrick saying the owners don't need to know what's going on on the property no, no. That's I'm, where, uh, okay. Right. So yeah, the both of us. Absolutely. The, uh, uh, the owners should know what's going yeah. on. And I must confess, in, in the past, we have had uh, some investigations that we've done where, like, it might be at a, a, a uh, storefront location mm -hmm. or something, and the owner is away out of okay. town, and the staff invites us to come in, and they're yes. like, the owner is not here, so we're going to bring you guys in to yes. do an investigation while you're here. Yes. Um, which is probably on the sly. We probably, you know, yes, we, oh, I've done it too. yeah, I've we're done guilty it too. as charged. Yeah, yes. uh, but uh, ethically, we probably, we probably should. You know, the, the owner has a right to know what is going on on that property. Obviously, especially if you've got an inexper inexperienced team that comes in there, and maybe they drum up more activity, or they bring oh. something in, or they go in and they do something crazy, like they're messing around with Ouija boards and they don't know what they're doing. They don't close out the session. And suddenly you've got a real problem on your hands there. We do. Because I think some of us have all been down that road yes. where, you know, you, you do do things like this, trying to help the staff members or something in it. And right. you'll find out that it gets a little bit crazy and wild. But here again, we all go in with the best intention. Sure. I've done it myself. Go in to try to release that spirit yeah. because the owner of the property really doesn't want to deal with it. They don't want to hear about it. Right, but right. yet the employees are having problems. Right. Right, and they think they're doing the yes. owners a, a favor by right. like omitting them from the equation Absolutely. when they're not in town. Right. Yeah, it's happened to us a number of times, and you know it's kind of a gray area, I suppose. Yes, but we try to do what's right. Exactly. <laughs> we try. We give it a good shot. Yeah.